Well, in today's lecture, we will discuss the hydrated cyst. We'll know the causes, sources, site of occurrence, and signs and symptoms of hydrated cyst. And at the last, we will talk about the sonographic findings of the hydrated cyst. So let's to know that what is the hydrated cyst. Hydrated cyst occurs due to parasitic infestation named name the echino cocal parasite So, hydrated cyst occur due to a parasitic infestation which is called the echinococcal parasite. Cause of the hydrated cyst is the echinococcal parasite as we have mentioned earlier, echinococcal parasite. And cause of the hydrated cyst is the echinococci, which is a parasite, and this parasite is found in the in the feces of dogs and foxes. So those who are animal lover, especially dog and foxes, are more prone to the hydrated cyst. And due to this parasite, which is named the echinococci, the hydrated cyst also known as echinococcal cyst. Echinococcal cyst. And according to some reference, it is also known as larval cyst larval cyst because the parasite uh, echinococci that causes the hydrated cyst will be in the larval stage now the sources of the infestation sources is the contaminated contaminated Food and water. Source of spread or source of infestation is the contaminated food and water. So, if the feces of dogs and fox contaminate, so the human food such as vegetable or water, and the human takes that food and water, they can get the echinococci parasite, which can lead to the formation of the hydrated cyst. Now, what will the clinical signs and symptoms? Clinical features are signs and symptoms. First, it may be completely asymptomatic. Completely asymptomatic. Second, if they have any feature, will be mild, mild grade fever, tenderness, at the right. at the right hypochondrium or right upper quadrant. In left voice, this patient will have leukocytosis.
leukocytosis, especially azinophilia, azinophilia, because it's a parasitic infection. Now we will know the site of occurrence of the hydrated cyst. Sites of occurrence first it occur at liver nearly sixty percent. Second brain kidneys and lungs the most prone organ to the occurrence of the hydrated cyst is liver because it has direct and sharp connection with the small intestine which is the portal vein and through that portal vein it can easily spread to the liver now what will the sonographic findings of the hydrated cyst sonographic findings of hydrated cyst and the basis of sonographic appearance it have three types first is the hydrated sand cyst Hydrated sand cyst or cyst sand appearance. Here in this cyst, there will multiple echogenic dots or pairs in the lumen of the cyst that are seen like the sand, and that's why it's termed as the hydrated sand cyst. Now, how can we differentiate uh, this hydrated senses from the other complexes? The difference is that, that the hydrated cyst will have double layer walls, while other complexes have single layer walls. Second is the water lily cyst. Water lily cyst or water lily appearance in water lily cyst there will appear cyst in the cyst that floating in the pericyst pericyst and this is the endocyst. In water lily cyst, there will an endocyst that will floating in the pericyst, which has an appearance like a water lily, uh, water lily plant, which is a sea plant, and that's why it is termed as the water lily cyst or water lily appearance. The third and last one. is the cartwheel or honeycomb cyst cartwheel or honeycomb cyst honeycomb cyst here in this cyst a mother cyst or large cyst will enclosed by multiple daughter cyst or small cyst which give the appearance of the cartwheel and also it may appear like a honeycomb that's why it's also termed as the honeycomb cyst
The third one, cartwheel or honeycomb cyst, can appear in two different shapes. First is the cartwheel, where one large or mother cyst will enclose by multiple daughter cyst, and also it can occur in the form of the uh, honeycomb. That's why it's also termed as the honeycomb cyst.